Let's hold our hands together and just begin to pray in the spirit just like we did yesterday. Can you make contact with someone? And then let's pray in the spirit. Those outside just make contact with someone and then let's pray in the spirit. Amazing God, wonder walking God. Destiny changing God, the lifter of men, the exalter of men. Please pray. Shala brandi ke de brahasa da balada bakuriya. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I taught you a song yesterday. I want us to sing it one more time before we sit down. When you hold my hands, everything becomes possible. When you hold my hands, everything. Sing it as a song with revelation. When you hold. Everything, everything becomes possible when you hold my hand. Everything, one more time. When you Jesus, we have come with our hearts open to receive this morning. We have come that our lives be changed. We have come that your word would transform us. We have come to access the riches of the kingdom. Lord, I pray this morning that you will bless us. Let it indeed be a total experience. Let it be a mighty time. Let it be a mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let there be miracles, signs, and wonders even this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Before you sit, I'd like us to just appreciate Pastor Shola. Pastor. The more I know you, the more I want to know you. It's not to Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm not so sorry. I mean, I'm talking to Pastor. God bless you. Please be seated. Pastor, I love you with all my heart. And I'd like us to honor these adorable people. My God. My God. Praise the Lord. This morning, your life is about to change again. This morning, God is about to visit us one more time. Ephesians chapter 1. Mighty God. I'll just charge our hearts and then we'll pray. I was praying into this morning and I just sensed in my spirit that the grace that would be available today among other graces is the grace for breakthrough. Breakthrough occurs when the fear is taken away. I believe with all my heart that someone will encounter that grace. The proof of breakthrough is the testimonies that follow. If testimonies do not follow, that grace is not at work. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are at household of David, 
and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Read with me verse 3 if you are a believer. One, two, read. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. One more time please. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord. Mm -hmm. Three informations here. Number one, the Bible says we have been blessed. So whatever it is, he calls it a blessing. Number two, whatever that blessing is, is spiritual. Are we together? Number three, that blessing resides in heavenly places. So three informations we're working with this morning. Number one is that we are blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Many of us shout it religiously, but mean it now. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Number two, the Bible says the nature of that blessing is such that it is spiritual. We're used to collecting physical things, money, shoes, clothes, cars. So when someone tells you, I have blessed you with something spiritual, usually we are lost. Are we together? Remember when Isaac, pastor, wanted to bless his sons. He said, make me venison that my soul will delight that I will bless you. The tangibility of spiritual things. Please understand what I'm teaching. And then Jacob went to maneuver his way with his mother and then brought, um, that means it's real. Couldn't he just speak again? To myself, you are blessed. No, he said, son, I've given it out. That means although it is spiritual, it is something real. We are blessed with all spiritual blessings. Spiritual blessings. Everybody say spiritual blessings. Spiritual blessings are more powerful and potent than any material blessing. In fact, when you read Hebrews 11, don't turn there, we're going there later on. It says through faith we understand that the world's Many of us shout it religiously, but mean it now. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Number two, the Bible says the nature of that blessing is such that it is spiritual. We are used to collecting physical things, money, shoes, clothes, cars. So when someone tells you, I have blessed you with something spiritual, usually we are lost. Are we together? Remember when Isaac, pastor, wanted to bless his sons. He said, make me venison that my soul will delight that I will bless you. The tangibility of spiritual things. Please understand what I'm teaching. And then Jacob went to maneuver his way with his mother and then brought um, the porridge. When he took it, he blessed him. When Esau came back, he said, it is finished. That means although it is spiritual, it is real. Couldn't he just speak again? So it wasn't just about words. He would have said, okay, let me repeat myself. You are blessed. No, he said, son, I've given it out. That means although it is spiritual, it is so. We are blessed with all spiritual blessings. Spiritual blessings. Everybody say spiritual blessings. Spiritual blessings are more powerful and potent than any material blessing. In fact, when you read Hebrews 11, don't turn there, we're going there later on. It says through faith we understand that the world's were framed by the word of God. And then he reveals there that so that the things that do appear, listen carefully, the things that do appear, the things that do appear, the Bible says, paraphrasing, that they were birthed from a realm that was spiritual. That means the realm of the spirit is the mother that gives birth to every physical thing. If God blesses you and the blessing is only physical, then you are not truly blessed. Because it means when the physical goes, there is no mechanism of bringing it again. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. When a woman, now, now please, I'm not trying to get you emotional, but when a woman attempts to get pregnant, say, and loses the baby, although they feel bad, but not for too long, because there is still a system where that process can be repeated again. The awareness of the fact that the woman can get pregnant again supplies comfort even when she loses. The reason why people lament when they lose physical things is because they know that the origin of their confidence is natural. 
So when the job goes, they now say, my God, I am finished. You've heard people say that? Don't ever use that expression. I am finished. A communication of a limited understanding. The Bible says the nature of the blessing that is upon a believer is such that it is spiritual. And the Bible says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen, meaning you can look at things that are unseen. While we look, so it's talking about looking, but that you can look at things that are both seen and unseen. And it says the things that are seen are temporal, subject to change. That means it should not surprise you if the car comes and goes. The Bible already told you, it didn't leave you in the dark. It's not a scam. It told you it's subject to change. But it says the things that are spiritual are eternal. So the person who has an advantage in this life, listen, is not the person who has physical things. Remember your conference is a total experience. I'm giving you a basis for true confidence that you can get up and walk with no money in your pocket yet laugh like a billionaire. And people are saying, you have started this church stupidity again. And you say, no, I just found something that I have been blessed with all spiritual blessings, but that it resides. Is God helping someone this morning? When you see certain people laugh and make nonsense out of Satan, it's because of an advantage. They say, Satan, you will not see my tears. You just lost your job. You say, I just lost a physical channel, not a job. No, I only lost a channel where a spiritual blessing comes. Are we together now? This revelation that I'm giving you this morning is what is captured in that grace.